to see <laughs> how to get this look just continue watching thank you so much i just used the nyx pore filler to prime my face and now i'm going to use the black opal true color stick foundation and heavenly honey if you keep seeing me look like up there it's because i have a mirror up there And I used this foundation because it was like, it's kind of on the lighter side and I'm doing a, a, a skull. I mean, I don't want to paint my face white because I want to show my beautiful skin. So just use a foundation that's a little lighter. Yeah, I don't know. It's like it's a little lighter. It's not like, I'm not gonna go as intense. take my airspun powder that smells, smells like a grandma honestly but this powder and a lot of people like it but I can't get past the smell I'm gonna take it on my beauty blender and I'm gonna set my under eye Okay, and this is how you're gonna set your face. You're gonna set your face like this because you are a skeleton. You don't want to make it look weird. You want to look like this. Weird, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. You wanna make it look weird because you're not doing your normal makeup. But you're gonna be cute. I'm gonna take my True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance and I'm gonna take, it's from Light to Medium, and I'm gonna take the contour shade and I'm gonna contour my face differently. I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I'm not really gonna explain it because I don't really know how to explain it. I'm gonna take the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Powder and Mocha, and I'm gonna put it in the same places, but I'm gonna put it a little tighter, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm gonna put it in the same places I put the other the other color. So I'm gonna put it a little tighter and not smoke it out as much. Take this black radiance. No idea what this is, honestly and truly. But it's this one, and it's in this color. I'm gonna go even deeper. The reason why you place these colors the way you did is because you want to still wear your regular color like you still want to use your skin you just don't want to paint your face white like this is the only reason i'm doing this because i don't want to paint my face white and the reason why i'm putting this right here is because this is where my teeth are going to be when i make my skeleton teeth this is where they're going to be so i need it like a type of So then after you do all of that, I'm gonna take, oh I didn't tell you what brush that was. It's actually because I don't know what brush that is. But it's this one. It's from the Morphe Rose Gold Collection. And I put my foundation on with the R6 and it's also from the Rose Gold Collection. All of my brushes are from the Rose Gold Collection, pretty much. So that's where they're all from. This is the R2. And you're just gonna 
start to kind of well not really don't touch the one under your eye because you're gonna have to do I don't know if I want to chisel my chin a little bit I'm gonna chisel my chin I'm gonna put some more airspun powder though to make it a little more you know like a like a skeleton I mean you can be blended and be a skeleton you just have, have harsh lines so Let's go back in there and put these harsh harsh lines because you're still a skeleton. I didn't do too much. I just did like a very serious contour. And I did the hollow of my eye and then I went in with some black eyeshadow and some glitter and put on some lashes. So I'm gonna do it for y'all. I'm gonna go into my True Complexion contour palette in light to medium and I'm gonna mix my contour shade and my sculpt shade and we're gonna put it in the crease but I'm gonna put it in there a certain way. I'm gonna show y'all. So you're gonna put it in there but you're gonna go to this corner right here and then you're gonna pull it all the way out. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna go underneath your eyelid also. You're gonna drag it down. Try to make it even with the other one. But if you don't make it even, you can always fix it with a little bit of setting powder. And you're gonna take this brush and you're gonna put it into the Fit Me Mocha powder, the one I used earlier. I'm pretty much using all the same colors that I used when I contoured my face in my eye. And you're just gonna do the exact same thing because you're going to contour your eye just how you contour your face so you're going to go in with the black radiance one back in with the mocha powder had that one also Then I'm gonna take, wait, I gotta go back in with the um, black radiance. I'm gonna take my very bent brush. I'm gonna place this on just your lid. You just wanna place this on your lid. You don't wanna place it everywhere else. Cause it's just not gonna look right. Swipe it underneath also. Back to business. Okay. So after you finish, well, if you get the blend the way you want it, because everybody likes their blend different. So after you get the blend the way you want it, you're gonna take, well, this is what I do. I used to do eyelash glue, but I don't know. Something about eyelash glue made me not like it anymore. I think it started getting, the way it gets stuck, the way it gets stuck in my eyelashes, I really can't do eyelash glue anymore. So I got these little Revlon things. I don't know if they sell them anymore. They're the photo ready eye art. I'm gonna take the glitter side. Let me get my little mirror. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close my eye, place the glitter just in the center. Then I have this little glitter here and I'm gonna dip my finger in it and then pat on the black. You wanna mix the black and the gold but you want to have most of that. And then I'm going to go underneath my eye. I'm going to place it 
underneath my eye. Go back into the black. And place it again. The under eye is a little harder than the, on the top of your eye. Take my Vegas Navy Brown Beauties and my lash glue. Okay, so I got y'all zoomed in a little bit so that y'all can see what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to point out everything that I did before I get into the mouth because the mouth is a little more difficult. So what I did was I took some black on this brush right here and I kind of went into my eyebrows a little bit. Just like just bringing it up a little bit because I mean I am a skeleton so I kind of like I got a unibrow. I kind of like it. Like, I'm like a little... You and brow shorty. You put some some of that black radiance in there. Then I'm gonna take some black on my R44. It's the eyebrow brush from the Rose Gold Collection. Go into that black and we'll draw me a nose. I'm gonna take my R41 and I'm gonna put the shadow in there. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna blend even though it's Take all the shades you use, literally dip all into all the different shades and then you're just gonna go in here and you're gonna drag that out. And you wanna kinda put it on your lips. And drag that out. Okay. And then you're gonna take that R44. You're gonna dip into that black shadow. And you're gonna draw that line. Then you're gonna go back in that black and you're gonna draw essentially the teeth. And when you get to the end, if you notice I don't really get really particular because this is what I do afterwards. Go in and draw buku lines to diffuse the line because it's really not that important. Then I'm gonna take that same stuff that we used in the beginning that I used as a base for this, and I'm just gonna make my teeth. Honestly and truly, it's the end of it. You're gonna go back into that black, but this time you're gonna go in with your R41, and you're gonna put it in your lips. Oh, I didn't do these two. Go 
over that line. And you're gonna take your R44. Is that what this is? Yes, ma'am. You wanna go back? You wanna do some super lines? I'm going to set it off. And then you're going to take your R41, go back here, and you're going to place that black. It's right there. Take your, this one, and you're going to blend that out. Then you're going to take your really big brush, or the one that we was using earlier to contour, you're going to take that We'll go back in there. And you're gonna take the rest of that and you're just gonna take this brush and wipe off this powder right here. And right here. Cause I want it to be darker. I just do go back into all those powders and just go right here. That setting powder was bothering you. Now you can go in and wipe it all away. Back in the black with the R41 and into your hairline. Take your R, nope, this, I don't know what this is, actually. I got excited. I was like, I'm on a roll. I know what my brushes are, but no. Back in with the brush. And we're gonna blend it all 